How to travel to the future, a scientific perspective. According to scientific consensus, there are two possible ways to travel to the future. The first is to travel close to the speed of light and experience the time dilation effect predicted by Einstein's theory of special relativity. According to special relativity, an object moving at speeds close to the speed of light experiences time more slowly than an object moving at slower speeds. This means that if a person travels close to the speed of light, their time will pass more slowly than the time passing outside their frame of reference. Therefore, if a person travels close to the speed of light and then returns, they will have traveled to the future relative to the time they left. This method is theoretically possible, but it is very difficult to achieve in practice. The speed of light is 300,000 km per second, and it would require an enormous amount of energy to reach this speed. Additionally, traveling at speeds close to the speed of light would subject the traveler to immense gravitational and inertial forces, which would require advanced technology to withstand. The second possible way to travel to the future is to exploit the time dilation effect caused by the strong gravitational fields of objects such as black holes and neutron stars. Black holes and neutron stars have such strong gravitational fields that they cause the fabric of spacetime to warp. If a person were to travel through this warp spacetime, their time would pass more slowly or more quickly than the time passing outside their frame of reference. Therefore, if a device could be created to warp spacetime near a black hole or neutron star, it could be used to travel to the future. This method is still in the theoretical stage, but as research into black holes and neutron stars continues, it is expected that the feasibility of this method will increase. In addition to these two methods, there is also research into time travel using quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics allows for the phenomenon of quantum superposition, in which a particle can exist in two places at once. This state could be used to meet with one's future self and exchange information. However, this method has only been experimentally verified in theory, and it is considered to have a very low feasibility. Conclusion In conclusion, travel to the future is still considered to have a very low feasibility from a scientific perspective. However, it is expected that with the advancement of science and technology, time travel may become possible at some point in the future. Quotations The following quotations from scientists provide additional insights into the possibility of time travel. 1. Stephen Hawking. Time travel is not impossible. 1. It is just highly improbable. 2. Kip Thorne. The possibility of time travel is one of the most fascinating and controversial topics in physics. 3. Michio Kaku. Time travel may be possible, but it would require technology that is far beyond our current capabilities. Is it generally accepted that time travel to the past is scientifically impossible? Yes, it is generally accepted that time travel to the past is scientifically impossible. The reasons for this are as follows. 1. According to special relativity, time is not absolute but relative to the observer's speed. 1. Therefore, in order to travel back in time, one would need to travel faster than the speed of light, which would violate the laws of physics. 2. According to general relativity, space-time is curved by gravity. 2. However, even though space-time is curved, it does not necessarily allow for time travel to the past. 3. In quantum mechanics, there is a claim that time travel to the past is possible through quantum superposition states. 3. However, quantum superposition states are very unstable, and time travel using them is still in the theoretical stage. Of course, it is possible that time travel to the past may become possible as scientific technology advances. However, as of now, it is generally considered to be impossible from a scientific standpoint. Here are the views of scientists on time travel to the past. 1. Albert Einstein argued that time travel to the past is a violation of the laws of physics and is therefore impossible. 2. Stephen Hawking argued that time travel to the past could be dangerous even for the time traveler. 3. Richard Feynman argued that it is impossible to prove that time travel to the past is impossible. In conclusion, it is generally considered that time travel to the past is impossible from a scientific standpoint. However, it is possible that time travel to the past may become possible as scientific technology advances.